Thousands of people forced out by the gas fires and explosions that rocked the Merrimack Valley are back home tonight. Governor Charlie Baker gave them the green light this morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. Katie is off tonight. We also learn more today about what led to the fiery disaster and a young man's death. The NTSB confirmed this afternoon that an equipment malfunction triggered the explosions by forcing gas into many homes at a highly dangerous pressure. For the latest now, we go to Tiffany Chan. She is live for us in Lawrence tonight. Tiffany? Ken, NTSB investigators have been on the ground here in Lawrence examining those gas pipes, collecting evidence. They uncovered that a construction crew was actually doing work on those gas pipes that Thursday, work that could have very well ended up with what we saw, those fiery blasts. After days of uncertainty, finally some answers as to what caused a series of gas explosions across the Miramac Valley. The NTSB can confirm at this time that this was indeed an overpressure situation. The NTSB National Transportation Safety Board says Columbia gas crews were replacing old pipes in Lawrence Thursday when a worker took out a pipe with a pressure sensor attached. The move triggered an overpressurization of gas flowing into homes. The real question for this investigation is to answer why this occurred. The agency is also investigating why some homes exploded and others did not. We're also hearing from the head of Columbia Gas, who admits more could have been done to alert families at the height of the chaos. We regret the, the, uh, the lack of communication that some people experienced early on, keeping in mind that all of our resources were focused on dealing with the operational emergency in that moment. After receiving the all clear this morning, many affected families are still afraid to return home. Dozens of people hoping to file claims with Columbia Gas had to wait once again, this time in the scorching heat. About two and a half, oh shoot, going on three hours now. Desperate for any kind of assistance in the wake of a disaster. Some type of help, at least, you know, for our damaged food, staying in hotels, and um, see if they could help us with anything they can. The NTSB investigation will now turn towards Columbia Gas, their operations, and why that pipe containing that pressure sensor was capped off on Thursday, but it could be a while before we get those answers. Pipeline investigations take one to two years to complete. Live in Lawrence, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.